Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Bass and Intuitive Tarot, and in today's reading I will be doing a quick weekly check-in look at Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for your weekly love update for May 26th to June 1st. However, my readings are timeless and time is fluid, so regardless what the date says on the video, it's whenever you stumble upon this reading is when you are meant to hear the message, okay? Give our spirits and guides what we have for Scorpio. Oh, and I will be announcing the winners of my free personal reading giveaway. Stay tuned to the end of this reading to hear the winners. And if you are really wanting to know them right now without watching the reading, I'll leave the timestamp down below, okay? But I encourage you to listen to the reading, okay? Universe Spirits and Guides. And if you don't win, I will be doing some more random giveaways throughout the month of June because I got way more entries than I thought I was. So there's going to be more opportunities from that same batch of entries. So if you don't hear your name, stay tuned for the weekly readings and the monthlies for the month of June. And if you don't want to wait, in my description box below is the link to my website, bestandintuitivetarot.com, where you can book a personal reading with yours truly. Universe, spirits, and guides, what do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I will be using two separate decks for this reading. One is the right away I'll be using to represent your side of the story, and the Gilded Tarot to represent your partner. I will then clarify both using my Mystical Cat Tarot deck. I do this so that I can see if you guys are mirroring the same energies or are on the same page. Holy cannoli, I just discombobulated my stack. And then I will pull three romance angels to get an overview of your romantic situation. And then I will pull two psychic tarot for the heart oracle cards to get some advice from spirit, okay? Universe spirits and what the hell. I keep dropping everything. Knight of Pentacles wanted to come out so you could have a slow moving offer heading your way. The Knight of Pentacles I like to call my geriatric horse. Slow moving but when they arrive it's long lasting folks. Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep shuffling. Enough of the preamble. I'm just going to shuffle a few more times and then we're going to go. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Fun fact, I'm a Scorpio rising, so I really feel intense for you guys. Let's keep this going. A couple more times and let's rock the deck. Universe, spirits, and guides. What do we have for our Scorpios? Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Over on your side, Scorps. The overall energy on the bottom of your deck is the death card! Heck to the yeah! Nice to show up in your reading, Scorpio. The death card, all about transformations. Who's bigger than transforming than, tra than friggin' Scorpios? Every Scorpio I have ever met had nine lives. You guys, don't let people get you down. You get right back up and you start all over again. Also, Scorpios are usually known for having multiple different careers. You guys, you guys show people, hey, I could become a police officer and you get into the training academy, you become a, a cop and you become a really good cop and then you're like, you know what, I'm bored, on to the next. I want to be a nurse. So you go to your nursing school and you become a nurse and you're like, everybody, look at me, I'm a nurse, look at me in my scrubs, then you're on to the next. You have so many trades. You're a Jill of all trades or a Jack of all trades. People look up to you because you are inspiring. You like to do things, and if you feel like you got a relationship that needs to end, you're going to end it and move on to the next person. You don't wait around. Do you know how many people are obsessed with Scorpios? Scorpios, this is my own statistics, y'all. So, And I just said y'all. I would never say y'all. So somebody here likes to say y'all who's a Scorpio. You made me do it. Anyways, Scorpios, you usually have like 6 out of 10. You always have a stalker. Most Scorpios I've ever known always had some sort of a stalker and it doesn't have to be the type of stalker you see in those Lifetime movies. This type of stalker just is like staring at your social media, looking at your pictures nonstop because you guys are sexually attractive. You guys are intense. You're beautiful. You're handsome. When you walk in a room, you know a Scorpio just walked in. You command attention. You like attention, but you're very private. You're very private. You're not going to just share all your details with just anybody, but you People want to be around you. Wow, I got so many downloads from that one stinking card. Let's keep going. And if you feel like you resonate with more of your person side of the table, take it however it resonates. You can flip flop it, vice versa. Just leave what doesn't stick and keep what does. All right, a couple more shuffles. Let's do this. If you're new to my channel, hit like and subscribe. If you're returning, welcome back. All right, now I got that welcome back Carter song in my head. 
Welcome back. All right, the overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Somebody has a blast with you, and who doesn't have fun with a Scorpio? They feel like they can have fun with you. They may have gone to some bars with you. There may be, have been some drinking involved or will be some drinking involved. There's going to be some sort of celebration, some wish fulfillment when this person connects with you. And I know I talk fast. I have a Scorpio rising, so I can be a little intense sometimes. But I promise I'm going to slow down my reading so you guys can enjoy them a little bit. Some of you have said I, I talk really fast. So, this person feels a lot of wish fulfillment with you. They enjoy your company. And I see this person being so happy to have you in their life that they're going to buy rounds for everybody in the bar. Rounds on me. I got Scorpio in my life. This is this person. Somebody is controlling their feelings though. Somebody's resisting this. Somebody's resisting change. And it certainly isn't Scorpio. Scorpio do Scorpios do not resist change. You guys embrace change. So I feel like this is your person. I feel like your person is resisting this. They're controlling how they feel. They are definitely controlling how they feel with you. I feel like because you are too intense. There's something about you guys' connection that took over this person. And now they're feeling like something's got to be up. Why am I feeling so intensely attracted to Scorpio? Why do I obsessively think of Scorpio? That's this person. I feel like you could be dealing with an Emperor Aries energy. This person likes control. This person likes control and they don't like how you've taken over their thoughts so much. There's something about your connection to this person that they can't stop thinking about you. So they are controlling the narrative. They are controlling their feelings. This person could also be in the military or have a military background. There's something involved with this person is a leader. They could be a boss at their workplace. They could be military or law enforcement. There's something that this person does that gets attention from people. They could be a ladies man or a ladies girl. Or they just have a position of power where people look up to them or report to them. They like this control. They may not tell you that, but they do like this sort of sort of control and with you being so intense they are trying to control their feelings because if they release this control oh my god they're gonna lose this control they don't want to lose it this is certainly not Scorpio dealing with this Scorpio this is your person you are freaking them out because they feel like wow Scorpio is really intense why do I feel this insane like attraction to Scorpio and they're watching you they're watching you. They may be quiet and trying to control their feelings, but they're watching you, Scorpio. And I just said it in the beginning, six out of ten times, Scorpios have a stalker, but a fun stalker. It's not going to be a creepy, deepy, lifetime movie or on the court TV network stalker type. It's going to be okay. So don't worry. Don't go putting your social media on private. I mean, it's good to have it on private and only have people you care about on your friends list, but you know what I mean. Aww, they're juggling. They're not juggling people. They could be. They could. But I feel like they're juggling whether or not they want to relinquish this control. This is Earth energy. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person really feels like unease with you. You have really shooken them up. They're used to being so controlled in a controlled environment that they just, they're afraid they're going to lose grip. So that's why they're squeezing onto their heart so tightly. But they're juggling. You got them juggling. You got them not knowing which way to go. So they're, they're, this is shaky ground here. And this is heavy earth energy. So they could possibly have earth in their chart. You could have earth in your chart. Well, this person's an Aries or a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio such as yourself. However, I'm not picking up on this being a Scorpio. I don't think it's a Scorpio on Scorpio. Because if they were a Scorpio, they wouldn't want to be controlling this so much. You would want to go for it. Scorpios go for what they want. Let's keep going. They know you're their soulmate. This stinking card only comes up when there's a soulmate involved. And this person, that's what's scaring them. They've never felt this intensity before. When you meet a soulmate, you immediately feel like, I've known this person before. I can't freaking put their name on it. I can't place it. But I think I know this person from somewhere. Ding, ding, ding. It's because you've known them from a past life. They're part of your soul tribe. Before you incarnate, you go through your blueprint, which is the Akashic Records, where you pick out who you want to be in your soul tribe. And, then, and these soul, same soul members on your soul tribe 
come with you from lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. They just change their roles a bit. Like in the past life, this person could have been your brother, your sister, your mother, your dad, your grandpa, your nana, your papa. It could have been any of them. Anybody who leaves an impact on your life is your soulmate. You can have more than one soulmate. But in this lifetime, this person is meant to be your lover. Now, don't get all creeped out thinking, oh my God, this person could have been my father in a past life and now it's my lover. Ugh. No, it's just how the, the world works. This is how we evolve. We all learn and teach different things in each lifetime, but we keep the same people. We keep the same people. We live out our karma with our, our people in our tribe. Until once you finish your karma and you teach what you need to teach or you learn what you need to learn, you move on to a new soulmate. That's why we have multiple, we can have more than one soulmate. So if you've ever met someone else who you thought was your soulmate because you felt like you've known them before, they were. Don't, don't disregard someone who you, you have moved on from, from being your soulmate. Your ex-husband could have been your soulmate. But you guys lived out your karma. You lived out your lesson, all right? And that's why you're moving on to your new soulmate. You get it? This person's scared. This person is not intense like you. Water signs specifically. Water signs get it more because they're very intuitive. They're very in tune to their emotions and their feelings. So when you met this person, you felt the connection 20 times more than this person. If this person would have felt the intensity at the level that you did, it would have killed this person. This person who's big on control would have been having a heart attack if they felt what you felt with this connection. But they did feel it. They did it. It's scaring them. Let's move on. And it's going to lead to a union. Something surrounding house and home will be happening with this. And this person could also have another child from a previous relationship. So that's the other thing that's scaring them. They have to introduce you to their kids or you need to introduce them to your kids and merge families together. And it's a little unnerving. But there is something surrounding house and home and a union. And this is also 11-11, so make a wish. The Four of Wands is my 11-11 card. There, this is beautiful energy here. So I got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Heavenly. I got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Heavenly. I got Heavenly, Aries, and Leo, Sagittarius. Someone's feeling rejected right now, and I feel like it's you, Scorpio. And you're not used to it either. It's very unlikely for people to, like, reject a Scorpio. You guys are very sexually attractive. But this person has put you on a back burner a little bit so they can be alone with their thoughts because this intensity is scaring them. And I got two fours, so do look up angel numbers four, four. Four could be an important number to you. And then four plus four is eight, which is about affinity. And eight is a very strong number. It's about power. Anybody who is born in August usually takes on a role for power. Those are Leos. But do look up four, four, or eight. This person is rejecting it right now because this intensity is insane. This is more Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces energy. But they can't, they can't ignore it for, four, for, for, for too long. I don't normally clarify my weeklies, but I will clarify the Four of Cups for you, okay? Let's keep going. Give me a card on the Four of Cups. If you haven't already, hit like and subscribe. And we'll be getting close to the announcements of the winners. Give me... Do you know what I just realized? We got three fours. We got three fours. Four of cups, four of wands, and four of pentacles. So look up angel numbers four, four, four. So I guess you can disregard the four plus four equals eight. So now you got 12. Look up 12. One plus two is three. Look up angel number three. Look up life path number three. I'm a life path number three, I think. Anyways, what came up is the emperor. You got the emperor twice. What clarified it, the Four of Cups is the Emperor again. This person likes control. This person is confused right now and doesn't like not feeling in control. They get anxiety when they don't feel like they have control. But this is temporary. You can't ignore a soulmate energy. And this is in their mind space right now. They want this, but they will come around when they're ready. So don't pressure them. You got Aries twice. You got Emperor twice. Do not pressure this person. This person will come at their own pace. And what's on the bottom of the deck is the moon card, Cancer and Pisces. Whatever's hidden right now will be revealed soon. And I feel like you know this already. When I look at this card specifically, I like to envision an owl up in top of the trees, 
Picture trees. Use your imagination as an owl. Owls are nocturnal. Owls can see in the dark. You are seeing this person as being very transparent. You can see this cat slithering around. This cat doesn't know it could be seen. So this is your emperor. You know this person has feelings for you. You know that they are trying just to control the situation. You can watch them. They are very transparent. They will reveal these secrets in time. Let me get three romance angels for the overview of this romantic situation. Hit like and subscribe. And thank you. I love you guys. Thank you for the donations. And for those who have been donating for my Amazon wish list, I got the decks. They are beautiful. I will use them in the June uh, monthly readings. Give me one more. Give me one more. This is going to be happening very soon. They're going to release control very soon. And it's going to be very passionate. Express your feelings. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. It is safe. This person is enjoying the bliss of holiday time together. This is my Six of Swords. This person will be moving on to calmer waters. Give them time. There's some things from their past that, that they probably haven't shared with you yet. But that's what's slowing us down. They do not want to release this control. But this will be soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This is happening soon. If you're resonating with this reading, this is happening soon. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This could be the fire energy. You could be... I got heavy Leo uh, Sagittarius Aries. I got Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I got Scorpio. I got Cancer Pisces Heavenly. I have no air, but doesn't have to not be air. Oh wait, no, I got the Six of Swords here. So I got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I got the whole shabam. I got everybody. I got everybody. But my heavy hitters is Aries, Scorpio, Leo Sagittarius, and Aries and Cancer Pisces. However, I don't feel like this person's a Scorpio, but they could have some Scorpio on their chart. But they're just not embracing it. Give me two advice cards from Spirit, please. Scorpio, you better hit that subscribe button. I'm killing my throat for you guys. <laughs> or at least hit that like button to show me some love and attention. I love you guys. I'm a Scorpio rising. I get it. Give me two cards. I need to gargle some lemon water. Challenging times, okay. Awaiting results. Someone needs to uh, cleanse their heart chakra. Look up exercises on how to cleanse your heart chakra. I don't want to delve in that too much. But you are awaiting results. And challenging times is in the reverse. So if it feels challenging right now, it won't be soon. And you are awaiting results. Okay, Scorpio, that was your weekly check-in. I love you guys. Hit like, hit subscribe, leave me a comment down below what you think of this channel. Share with your girlfriends, your boyfriends, your cat, your dog. Uh, and stay tuned for the announcement of the winners. And if you don't get announced, you can book a personal reading in the description box below. Just go to bassinintuitivetarot.com. Or just wait throughout the month of June for more random drawings. Alright, I love you guys. Later. Bass and Into the Tarot. Hey everybody, I bet you're here to see if you're one of the lucky winners who I will be picking for a free personal reading. But before I draw the winners, I have a brief announcement. To the subscriber who booked a personal reading by me last week, your inbox is very full right now. So every message I send your email account, it gets bounced back to me. So for the subscriber with the first name Darlene, your email account is really full. So you need to delete some of your emails or send me a new email account that I can send your personal reading to, okay? It's the email that has the word lioness in it, okay? I'm only saying that now because I know you will be watching this announcement for the winner. So that's the only way I can communicate with you right now because your inbox is full and I can't communicate with you through that email because it keeps bouncing out. Again, for the subscriber by the name of Darlene who booked the personal reading from me, please email me a new email account so I can correspond with you from there or delete some of your, um, your messages from your inbox because I'm getting the error message. Because I really want to get your personal reading started, okay? I've got way more entries to this contest than I thought I was going to get. Holy cannoli. Do you know how long it took me to write down all these names? It took me forever. I had this envision that I was going to have these cute little tarot cards on the surrounding box to make it really cute for you guys, but I ran out of time because of how many tickets I had to write. Holy crap. So, there's over 600 entries here. Over 600. So what I'm doing is, if you don't hear your name today, 
I'm going to keep on drawing names until the end of June. So for the month of June, I'm going to keep doing random drawings to give out free personal readings to the people who've already entered. And if you haven't had a chance to put in your entry, I will be doing another giveaway soon, okay? All right, enough of that. I'm going to pick two people. Two people. All right, I'm going to keep it above me so I can't really see. I'm going to stir it all around. All right, it's the first one. The first one is to username, YouTube username, Amy Watts. Is that the celebrity? Oh no, the celebrity is Naomi Watts. I was about to say, I'm about to do a personal reading for a friggin' celebrity, holy cannoli. No, congratulations Amy Watts, or Amy F. Watts. You have won your free personal reading. I will be connecting with you sometime this week to get more details, okay? Congratulations. And then the next person. All right. Getting my hands in there. The next person to win is... Uh, it's hard to read my handwriting. Must have been my little helpers. Kathy Lem. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Kathy Lem. Holy cannoli. Hold on, let me look into my uh, emails and see what that one is. One second. All right, so Kathy. Yep, Kathy Lim. Kathy Lim, L-E-M-M, -M. congratulations, you have won for your personal reading. I will send you the information in a couple days, okay? And for everyone else, stay tuned throughout the month of June. I'll, I will be drawing more names, okay? There's a lot here. All right, as always, thank you for stopping by. Best into the tarot. Later.